Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Good morning, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and let's just enjoy some good old yarny talk. Uh, welcome to my channel, and I would like to say thank you to all my new subscribers that I have. And um, I hope you enjoy this channel. I am mostly all about crochet. Um, I like to do crochet tutorials and I like to um, help promote other channels as I go along. And I like to show off Happy Meals and yarn hauls and um, just giveaways and just, you know, what I just enjoy having fun with this channel. So I hope you enjoy stopping by and um, Hopefully you'll um, continue stopping by and just, I enjoy all the comments. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so today's video is mostly about some Happy Mail and um, I guess that's really it. <laughs> um, I can uh, may be able to show what I've been up to. Um, yeah, I think it's mostly about Happy Mail. <laughs> Okay, grab your cup of coffee and let's get started. Okay, I will first show that, uh, just to let you know, I do have a tutorial that I posted yesterday. And it is the uh, some baby hats. Now, these have not been washed, so they're a little on the stiff side. I did not use baby yarn. I really don't have any full weight baby yarn. I So, I used Brava uh, worsted weight and I used... Um, I think it's mainstay on um, the red and a uh, brava on the blue the gray and the blue but they're just your basic beanie hat um, pattern nice and simple for the baby and some little matching cuffed booties uh, for the baby and like I said I'm going to wash these and they will be nice and soft for the baby okay then I have another tutorial coming out um, and it will be basically the same type of little baby booty, except it has a roll top. Isn't that cute? Um, it's long like this, and then you just roll it down. <laughs> oh, gosh. And this is done with, um, mm, I think maybe mainstay yarn as well, and it does need to be washed. And here's the baby hat. And this is, I think, for a three-month to six-month, maybe, type of hat. Anyway, so that's what I have uh, that I will be posting. I've already shot the video. I just got to get it uh, up on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so my happy mail. All right, I'm excited. This one is from Terry with uh, Yarn Joy Podcast. She does have a channel, a YouTube channel, and I will leave her link below so you can go check her out. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And my house was decorated in this buffalo plaid this year. So that was really cool. So thank you, Terry, for this Christmas card. I appreciate it so much. So guys, um, she is also going to be a grandma. And um, I think she's going to be called Mimi. I'm Gigi, and she's going to be called Mimi. And she um, just announced it yesterday that her daughter is having a, um, a little boy. <laughs> so, and my daughter's having a little boy and they're going to be like a couple of months apart. And so this is going to be exciting. I'm going to get to uh, feed off of her some of the things that she's going to be coming up with for her grandson. And hopefully she'll feed off some of the things that I'm making for my grandson. And I'm just looking forward to it. It's going to be so much fun over these next few months. Or even longer than that, because she, like she was saying in her video that her grandson is going to be in May. There's not much you can make um, hat-wise and all this type of stuff. Um, and it the baby will be like seven months when winter hits. Well, mine will be nine months when winter hits. And so I've been saying the same thing to my daughter. I'm like, there's not too much that I can make for the baby Um I've made a few things, but they need to be like lightweight. Um, but boy, nine months. Yeah, I'm going to have all types of um, hats and cardigans and you name it. I've already got a lot of things already planned. So for now, I've just been sort of making like amigurumi type things um, and some blankets and things that he can still use at nine months. Um, okay, so on with my letter. So go check her channel out. 
Um, this one is from Caitlin Mathis. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kay's Crochet Haven. And like I said, if they have a YouTube channel, I will leave their link below so that you can go check them out. Thank you so much for that. Uh, it is so pretty. So thank you, Kaylin. I appreciate that. And I will leave your link below so that everyone can go check you out. Um, okay, and then this one here is, let's see, what's the first name? James and Amarina. <laughs> I love that name. Um, reminds me of that Texas song. Well, sort of. I mean, it's not the same word, but it just kind of reminds me of that Texas song. But I just love that. Isn't it adorable? And it's all glittery. So, thank you so much for this Christmas card. I appreciate this so much. Um, okay, so that was exciting. <laughs> All right, so the next thing, um, I guess I could say, I went to my um, Hobby Lobby, and I snatched as much of, especially the baby things, all these free patterns that they had. See, they had a lot of free baby stuff. And I snatched a bunch of this, and... Um, that's I didn't buy any yarn. I just went through and snatched all their free stuff because they've got lots of new free stuff up there. And um that is just so cute. Look at that. I especially like the hat. It kind of reminds me of my little Jenny Lynn collection that I have. And there's some stuff like on the back. Anyway, so I just snatched a bunch of this and it wasn't just um kid stuff. You know, there's some adult things. Anyway, so that was fun. I get to dig through that, but I actually bought at Hobby Lobby. I used my 40% off coupon. I got me a puzzle. You guys remember I told you that my dad has, um, he's what, 80, he'll be 87 in, a, in a, like 20 something days. Well, he's into doing these puzzles at the table, which helps him, you know, keeps him out of bed and all this stuff. Well, now I've gotten addicted because when I go over there, the puzzle is always there and there's always somebody working on the puzzle. And so um, now all these puzzles I've been buying for my dad, I'm turning around and borrowing them <laughs> um, and putting them together at my house and then sending them back. But the good thing about that is when they work the puzzle and they take it apart, they have a baggie just for the border and then the rest of it is in a bigger bag and i'm like that makes it so much easy for me because all i have to do is just take the puzzle out of the baggie the border and put it together and then work on the inside <laughs> yeah i got it made <laughs> but um on this one right here since i bought it and um for myself i went ahead and i'm having to do the border first and then when i but when i send it over to my dad and lent my dad's house and let them borrow it then um they the, the uh, border will already be together for them so yeah anyway so um that's what i'm doing on there and oh yeah the christmas puzzle christmas was so much fun at my house oh my gosh we just had a blast um we even put together an entire christmas puzzle so that was fun okay so i went my other happy meal i went to joanne's and I did hit their sale. Well, I like General Hospital. And I know a lot of you guys may say, oh, it's a soap opera, blah, blah, blah. I've been watching General Hospital since I was a teenager. And um, I still watch General Hospital every day. It comes on like at 2 o'clock. And um, I watch it on Hulu at 7 o'clock every night. <laughs> because it's ad-free or commercial-free. And so, yeah, I watch it then. Well, anyway between uh, some of the um, shows that I've seen on TV and, and then like General Hospital, they had these stockings up for every family member on their um, fireplace. And I always thought that when I put my stockings up that, you know, it was just us that lived in that household. Well, it's for everybody in your immediate family. And I thought, that is so cool. My family, you know, is growing. So these were at Joanne's. And I'm going to put a red letter on them because my theme is mostly red. And I thought I may add some uh, red and green, you know, something here. But, or I may just put a red letter here. I don't know. But I want to add some red to it. But these were like, I think regular $20. Let's 
and I got them for six dollars. So I bought one. I'm not going to get the whole bag out, but I bought one for all six of us, including the baby Knox. So he's got one an entire year to figure out what I want to do. Uh, I think I just want an initial though. So, but we do have two K's. We'll have Knox and then Kalia. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I have to figure out what I want to do on that part. <laughs> but whatever I do, it's exciting. Um, I'm already excited for next year. I'm already like in my mind thinking of all these cool things to do and make. The other thing I bought at Joann's, they had their big twist yarn for $1.99. And so I bought two of these. Two of these, and this is called, um, this is Big Twist, 100% acrylic and medium gray. Let's see, I bought two of that and then two of this um, Varsity Gold. So, I'll show you why I bought these. Um, and I, after I got home, I realized, because see, I didn't have my pattern book with me. I didn't need this much, but I'll use them, so it's okay. But here, my daughter had got me for Christmas. <laughs> um, she bought me some crochet books, but she bought crochet books for the baby. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I loved it. Um, so she bought this book, and it has all these different little pillows. And I'm here to tell you, the pillow is not this big. I'm like, that's a really big pillow. Because, you know, I figured the little girl's probably five, four, five maybe. The pillow's not that big. Anyway, I bought the Varsity Gold to make the line. Now, I'm not going to make his mane loopy because, you know, the baby's little and I don't want his fingers and stuff getting caught up in the loops. So, I'm doing a different kind of mane. Um, so, I'm making this one. And then my um, granddaughter by marriage, Kalia, she wants this one. She has a birthday in February. So, I bought the gray for this one and uh, my daughter wants that one. So, I bought that Varsity Gold for that. But I have enough varsity, that varsity go to, you know, do a cat if I want to or whatever. I mean, I'd like to do the bear next. <laughs> but anyway, I like that they're all smiley and sleeping. You know, that's cool. Okay, so the other thing that she bought me that was in my one of my Christmas bags was this um, easy crochet gifts for baby. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Here we go. And this is one of the first things I would like to do. It takes Burnett Baby Yarn. Burnett Baby Yarn is not cheap, and it takes two of them. So, yeah, I'm going to have to look into that. But, my goodness. I mean, there's some pretty, pretty stuff in here. Anyway, um, what was that? I wanted to show you. I thought it was cute. Well, there's a lot of cute things in here, but one of the things that I especially liked, oh yeah, I especially like that one. Look at that. And um, that one is six months to 24 months, which, which is perfect because he'll be nine months, 10 months, and 11 and 12 by winter. Um, So that's perfect for him. Oh yeah, this is what I thought was funny. I told my son-in-law, I said, look, a pair of booties and a bed for every day of the week. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. So anyway, so I got this book. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, well, oh yeah. She also got me some Ferris wheel yarn. You know, I made a lot of hats this winter for Ferris wheel. Here's this one. And she said that uh, they were on sale at Joann's when she got them. It's pink marmalade, medium four weight, 270 yards. I like it. I like all these that she got. And here's this one, especially this one. This one I think is my favorite. This is Ferris wheel. It's called Cherry on Top. But yeah, I think that's my favorite. Love, love it. And this is my second favorite. Look at that one. I don't even know which one of these I want to start with first. I like them both. This one is Summer Day. Huh. I like it. Okay, then she gave me these hooks. Um... She said she hadn't seen these kind of hooks before. Susan Bates, she gave me a 5.0, a 5.5, and a 6.0. Now, the only issue I have is this is so far down. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use them or not. But um, she was so excited to give them to me. So, I'm going to try. 
I am, I will use these. I will try to use these, especially to make the baby's outfit because um, they were for my daughter. <laughs> and they are so soft. They feel really good. I like that. And um, so I'm going to try it. I really like for this right here to go up higher, way up here, my personal preference on my hooks. But anyway, these are for my daughter. So I'm going to try those. All right, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is I got Mary Maximian. Yay! And this is my first Afghan for Mary Maxim. And I'm pretty excited about it. But it was $30, and you get it every three months. Look at all this yarn. That's a lot of yarn. Look at that. Really excited. So it's, and it comes, this bag has a handle on it. I am not going to make the afghan in this uh, with this pattern with this black because I don't want a black afghan in my household. I have three dogs, so that ain't gonna happen. It, just, it ain't gonna happen. But here's the afghan, and I will probably make it in another color. It was, you know, come in my kit. It's called the Celtic afghan. Thought it's, it is, you know, you can sit better on the back. It's pretty neat. Um, it's just, I'm not making it in black, not in this household. <laughs> Matter of fact, when I make, when I wear anything black like this right here, um, I wear this kind of stuff out. I do not wear it sitting around my house with my dogs in my lap and stuff. Any, anything that I own that I wear that is black gets put on me as I'm heading out the door. Anything in, that I wear inside the house is gray and white and beige and you know, those kind of colors. I do not wear black. Um, but I love this. It has these specks. It's just gorgeous. And this is a Vanna White Toys line brand, medium four weight, um, Obsidi Obsidian, I guess is the name of that. How you pronounce that? You guys know how bad I am pronouncing names. It is so soft and it feels so good. So I've been wanting a black, af a black cardigan. So I don't know if I want to make it in this or not. Hershner's has some yarn, black yarn, premier yarn on sale. Um, solid black that I was thinking to make my cardigan with. I don't know. But I love this. Absolutely love it. Just not for an afghan. <laughs> but look at this, guys. It This kit also came with this book. This is a $10 book. It is a book. Look. <laughs> I was like, I felt like I, it was a bonus. It's like, I, I was like showing my husband. I said, I can't believe this. They sent me a book. So, I don't know if this was just a first time kit book. But, I mean, it's amazing. It's just, I don't know. I was pretty excited. Anyway, there's um, 10 beginner to intermediate patterns for the home. So, um, the best of Mary Maxim is what it says. So, I don't know if this was just a book because it was my first kit. I don't know, but we'll find out in three months. <laughs> um, anyway, so you get, let's see how many skeins of this you get. There's three, six, you get 12 skeins of this. That's a lot. And how many yards is this? I didn't say, did I? Oh, this is 97% acrylic and 3% other fiber. And it's 145 yards in this. So, um, yeah, it was $29.99 for a quarterly kit. And so I can keep this out now that I've showed you guys. Um, I'll probably keep that out too because I'm not making a black afghan. <laughs> it was funny because whenever I was so excited and when I opened it up, I knew it had to be the afghan because the, the Mary Maxim bag was big. And I was like, okay, it's not my normal crochet kit to be that big. So it had to be the afghan. Well, when I opened it, you should have seen my expression. I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> so I had mixed emotions only because of the color, but I am totally in love with it. So it doesn't matter because I'm going to use the black for something else. Um, but yes, I am looking forward to see what they give me in my next quarter of my Afghan kit. I have the Sock Monkey Scarf video. And uh, matter of fact, 
the yarn nut sponsored the yarn for it. Isn't that cool? And I will talk about that um, in another video. So I'm really excited about getting started on that. So that will be a tutorial and it will be similar to my doll one right here. And then I have, um, I have some of my doll patterns, guys, that I am fixing to do some tutorials on. Yay! I know you doll lovers will be excited about that. So I'm going to pull out a few of my patterns and actually do a tutorial on them. So, <sighs> so much fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed all of this yarny goodness with me today. I was so excited to get on here and share this with you all. The 365 Days book. And it says, Strength From You is the title. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. And I have that uh, just as you enter, when you go into my garage, we enter my house through the laundry room from the garage. And so just before you enter, that sign is up there. Um, before I was even conceived, you thought of me. The Lord of all creation, you spent time considering who I would be and what purpose I'd fulfill in your kingdom. The dreams of an earthly father for his unborn child pale in comparison to the detail with which you considered my life. Like the daughter of royalty or the son of unmatched genius, I wonder how I can ever live up to the version of me that you designed. I'm weak, flawed, so very human, but it doesn't depend on me, does it? My strength is from you. My gifts, talents, passions, and purposes are all from you. Today, I offer you my faith that if you wield it, I can fulfill it. Do you believe God can give you strength for all things? And yes, I do. And um, that is very fitting for me to read today. Um, I do thank God for this YouTube channel. Like I said, this YouTube channel is out of my comfort zone, if you knew me. Totally out of my comfort zone. And um, I come on here, I pray and ask God to bless my channel and bless my things that I do, my patterns and all the things that I create. That is all from God. That is not from me. I feel like God gives me the strength, the the um, the knowledge, and the creativeness to be able to do the things that I do um, with creating patterns. I mean, I just started creating patterns uh, January of 2019. That's only a year. And on my doll patterns, I have over 150 doll patterns out there. And then I've started doing wearables. Just give God all the credit for all the talent that he has given me that, um, and I get to turn around and share this talent with all of you guys, you know, and it's like, I feel like this is the best thing in the world for me. Not only am I God blessing my, um, pattern business, blessing my YouTube channel, but he's also allowing me to be able to communicate with you guys and make new friends and um, learn new things from all of you that I learned from. And um, I don't know, it's just exciting. I don't know how else to say it. It's just very exciting. And I thank God for every bit of it. So anyway, that's all that I have today. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.